Margaret Reed is president of the Downtown Chilliwack Market Society. She has fond memories of the farmer's market in Central Park in the 1990s and is proud to be leading the team that has brought it back. She is also co-founder of the active group Citizens for Change that has supported Pride events and the Convoy of Care bringing treats and much-needed morale boosts to our Chilliwack General Hospital health care workers on the COVID front lines. Like several speakers this evening, I grew up in Chilliwack. And as a kid in downtown Chilliwack in the late 90s, I loved attending the farmer's market that, takes pla- that took place where Central Park is now. It was a fun, accessible space where my family could access healthy local food at an affordable price. But the community feeling in that space was more important than the food access itself. That's a memory that stuck with me and something that was in my heart as COVID began to impact our community. As the pandemic began, I was working as a community builder for United Way. I often received phone calls from people who did not have enough food. We have a fantastic network of service providers in Chilliwack, but everybody was overworked by the pandemic. And if somebody had an allergy or an intolerance, there were simply no options available for them. So fellow Chilliwack Citizens for Change board member Christopher Hunt and myself decided to do something about this. We made it everybody's problem. Over the course of a few weeks, we took it to every agenda and table that we could get it on, and we basically talked to anybody that would listen. We managed to procure a grant from United Way from their Food Hub program to create our hamper program Extra Fair, food access for restricted eaters. Extra Fair was unique because it worked with a weekly choice form and it was completely catered to individual dietary needs. We we delivered it to over 40 households for more than a year. It was a resounding success. Although we had to uh, transition out of the program, the lessons that I learned running Extra Fair definitely kickstarted my understanding of working with program recipients to make sure that accessibility is low barrier and comes with dignity and choice. As the pandemic ramped up and supply chain concerns did along with it, the conversations among the doers in Chilliwack transitioned to talking about how we could work on getting the food that is made and grown in Chilliwack to those who work, who live here. At Chilliwack Healthier Communities Poverty Reduction Task Force, we began a community inventory of small-scale agriculture production in town to see how we could go about making it accessible. We brainstormed CSAs, community gardens, and other solutions until somebody pointed out that Selena at Pekiko had the space for a market, but no team to execute it. That, combined with the memory of the market from my childhood and my recent experience working at Extra Fair, meant that I was all in for this project. I agreed to co-lead it with Selena, and I eventually became the Market Society president. We put together a positive, collaborative team that shared our food-focused, inclusive values, And in early spring, we began planning for a market that would open in June. We also set the foundation for a meaningful partnership with Squaw First Nation, whose unceded and stolen territory the market does sit on, to ensure that they would benefit from the use of that land. One of the unique aspects of the downtown Chilliwack community market is food security. Not all markets have that. And as members of the BC Association of Farmers Markets, we did have access to the Government Nutrition Coupon Program. Sheets of coupons were distributed by our partner, Bulls of Hope, to those in need. We had over $7,400 worth of redemptions in our first season. That's an amazing first season. (laughs) But my favorite food security initiative through the market was our market cash program. Featured on a previous slide, there were $5 coins, little wooden things made by a local artisan. Um, And we gave a a few thousand dollars worth of those out to local community groups, Squaw First Nation, healthcare providers, Senior District Resource Center, and others. But the really cool thing about Market Cash was that the general public could purchase it like like a carnival token at our main market tent. And because there was no distinction between who was using the token for what, it really ripped away the barriers for um, the stigma associated with food access. It also ensured that our program recipients got access to that entire market experience, further tying them into that community space. And it also ensured that it upheld the dignity and choice that was inherent in our market's inclusion values. As the season rolled on, we we noticed that it was about more than food access. One of the other things that we know that 
The market really brought to the community was a gathering space for those who had been separated for so long due to COVID. Watching the relief in the eyes of community members as they were able to safely gather and enjoy food and live music in the market space became mesmerizing. I attended every week through the entire season, and every week, a new friend or relative would come and sit with me and watch the space unfold, enjoying what I'd helped cre to create. It really became a joyful space. And in that joyful space, we managed to accomplish more than we ever imagined. We managed to hold a vaccination clinic for, on behalf of Fraser Health. Downtown businesses noticed a huge uptick in foot traffic and sales, especially those in Central Village where the market is located. Local elected officials were able to engage with constituents. We had live music, kids activities, and perhaps best of all, we were able to be home based to Chilliwack's third annual Pride event. Over 5,000 people came out on a Saturday afternoon, uh, sorry, a Sunday afternoon in Chilliwack to celebrate love and inclusion. We had drag queens, live music, artisans, and of course the market itself. It was a huge success and we look forward to hosting that in future years. These are just a few examples of how our market became so much more than a simple shopping experience. It really became about community. COVID has had an intense and profound impact on us all. There has been division, darkness, and loss at every corner. And that's why I'm proud in that environment to have led a team that has brought a project to, to the community that fostered love, connection, and dignified access to resources in the community that I grew up in. I hope that my children will attend the market and that the other children attending the market will notice this, will feel that community inclusion in that space, and that they will take that memory forward with them in life and use it to, to create the change in the world that they wish to see, just like I did. <laughs>